Good evening, everybody. I'm C.J. Ward. It's amazing that fire officials even have to say this, but they're telling people not to hike into the Sherpa fire zone. Yes, it's still dangerous up there. A 19-year-old had to be airlifted out on Wednesday, and News Channel 3's Vicki Nguyen joined us live from Santa Barbara tonight. And Tracy, there's no gray area here. All of those trails are off limits. CJ, U.S. Forest and Fire say it's not safe, even though you can't see the flames of the Sherpa fire anymore. The trails are not safe to explore, and it might be a while before they are. Tax dollars and valuable time were spent to airlift a man out of an area where he wasn't supposed to be on Wednesday. It's not a place to be hiking around right now. It's a dangerous area. We still have crews working in the area. It's unclear why the man was there. But it's not the first time forest and fire personnel rescued someone who is trespassing or was unprepared for their hike. We're going to come out and we're going to respond, but every time we put a helicopter in the air, we put firefighters up on those trails, you know, we're putting our people at risk and we don't like to see that. Fire crews are expecting to have full containment of the Sherpa fire by July 7th. Then the U.S. Forest Service will examine the damage. Another reason why hikers should stay away. What happens is after the vegetation has been burned off, the, 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 the soil starts to move. And a lot of those rocks have been hung up and hanging there from that vegetation. And they will give way. And we have some very, very large rocks that can, to, can tumble down. Cooper says people who live near burn areas should prepare prepare for future landslides and flooding. When it starts to rain, it will be even more dangerous. So that's when we're really concerned about. U.S. Forest Service says they're currently applying for permits to restrict certain areas of the burn area to prevent people from exploring. Live in Santa Barbara, Vicki Nguyen, News Channel 3. Okay, thank you, Vicki. An update now on a